Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Hai semua, dalam video kali ini kita akan lihat berkenaan dengan equations in simple harmonic motions. Ada yang kata, Madam, chapter ni terlalu banyak equation yang kita nak ingat. Jadi dalam video kali ini kita akan revise berkenaan equation of displacement x, equation of velocity v dan equation v. Ada dua iaitu in terms of t dan juga in terms of x. Jadi kita akan tengok sekejap lagi. Seterusnya adalah equation of acceleration A. Sama juga kita ada dua equation in terms of T and equation of A in terms of X. Seterusnya kita akan sambung revise berkenaan dengan equation of energy. Dan jangan lupa ada kinetic energy K dan juga potential energy U dan akhir sekali kita akan tengok berkenaan dengan total energy in simple harmonic motion. Sekarang jom kita mula dengan equation of displacement where the general equation of displacement in simple harmonic motion in function of time x equal to a sin omega t. Jadi general equation untuk displacement dalam chapter 9 ini adalah a sin omega t. Sekarang kita recall balik the pattern of graph displacement against time. Since the equation is a sine equation, so you can see here the pattern of the graph is the sine graph. Jadi dalam graph ini kita boleh lihat maximum amplitude of the graph is labeled as A where A is the amplitude and it is actually the maximum displacement disebabkan ini adalah graph displacement against time jadi the amplitude of the graph itu adalah nilai maximum displacement dan sekarang ingat lagi ke from definition of instantaneous velocity where v is equal to the change of displacement over the change of time V is equal to dx over dt. Jadi kalau kita differentiate equation of displacement x, kita akan dapat satu equation baru iaitu equation of velocity in terms of time. So we can write V is equal to d dt a sin omega t dan kemudian kita boleh differentiate sin omega t dan perkara yang paling penting yang awak kena ingat apabila kita differentiate sin is equal to cos dan bila kita differentiate cos it is equal to negative sign itu jangan lupa ok jadi bila kita differentiate sin omega t mathematically sin omega t will become cos omega t and then you need to differentiate again omega t ha, ada yang tanya saya madam kenapa macam tu itu adalah cara untuk awak differentiate trigonometri dalam mathematics ok jadi differentiate sign akan jadi cos dan kita perlu differentiate lagi sekali yang dalam bracket itu iaitu omega t. So differentiate omega t respect to t kita akan dapat omega. And finally we can write the equation of velocity in terms of time is equal to a omega cos omega t dan disebabkan equation ini merupakan equation cos so kita boleh sketch graph velocity against time dalam bentuk graph cos dan dekat sini kita boleh nampak the maximum amplitude of the graph is given by a omega jadi bacaan a omega dekat sini bukan maximum displacement tetapi A omega dekat sini adalah maximum velocity in simple harmonic motion. Ini paling penting sebab ramai yang buat salah di mana mereka ingat the amplitude of graph velocity against time is actually the maximum displacement. Tetapi sebenarnya 
amplitude of graph V against T memberikan nilai maximum velocity bukan maximum displacement. Jadi sekarang kita dah dapat equation V in terms of time T. Ingat lagi tak di awal video saya ada bagi tahu awak equation of velocity ada dua iaitu velocity in terms of time T and then kita akan tengok pula equation of V in terms of displacement x. Bagaimana untuk kita derive equation V equal to A omega cos omega T untuk jadikan equation V in terms of displacement x. So the first step you need to square the whole equation. Alright. Jadi kita boleh tulis sebagai V square equal to A square omega square cos square omega t. Jadi berdasarkan equation ini kita nak simplifikan lagi by using trigonometry identity to change cosine term to sine. So by trigonometry identity we can write cos squared omega t is equal to 1 minus sine squared omega t. Jadi kita tulis semula v squared equal to a squared omega squared 1 minus sin squared omega t. Sekarang kita lihat di sini kita dah ada term sin squared omega t dan daripada equation displacement we can write x squared equal to a squared sin squared omega t. Jadi dekat sini kita boleh gantikan sin squared omega t is equal to x squared over a squared. Bila kita masukkan dekat equation ini, kita boleh simplifikan the whole equation. Kita gantikan sin squared omega t dengan x squared over a squared. And after we take square root of both side, finally we can get equation of velocity in terms of displacement x where v is equal to plus minus omega square root a squared minus x squared. Boleh? Dan sekarang kita akan tengok pula bagaimana untuk kita dapatkan equation acceleration where A is equal to dv over dt. So we need to differentiate equation of velocity in terms of time t in order to get equation of acceleration as a function of time. So kita tengok dekat sini bila kita differentiate equation V. Jadi kita boleh tulis A is equal to d over dt a omega cos omega t dan a omega adalah constant so we need to differentiate cos omega t sahaja dan ingat ya differentiate sign akan jadi cos and differentiate cos akan beri you nilai negative sign ok so kita tulis balik kita akan dapat a omega negative sin omega t sebab kita dah differentiate cos omega t tadi dan jangan lupa rules untuk differentiate trigonometry kita perlu differentiate sekali lagi yang dalam bracket tu that respect to time so differentiate omega t so kita akan dapat omega and finally equation of acceleration in terms of time t can be write as a equal to negative a omega squared sin omega t. Jadi perasan tak equation ini merupakan equation negative sin. Jadi bila kita sketch graph a against t, kita akan dapat satu pattern graph iaitu graph negative sin. And the most important thing is the amplitude of the graph a against t will give you the value of the maximum acceleration. Ingat ya, jika you dapat graph A against T, bacaan amplitude graph tersebut merupakan nilai maximum acceleration. Bukan nilai maximum displacement, bukan nilai maximum velocity. Tengok pada graph yang diberikan, this is a graph of A against T, so the amplitude of the graph is actually the value of the maximum acceleration. Boleh? Sekarang kita akan beralih pula bagaimana untuk kita tulis equation of A in terms of displacement x. So since A is equal to negative A omega squared sine omega t and we already know that x equal to A sine omega t and then we can substitute A sine omega t as x. And finally, we can write equation of A in terms of displacement x as A equal to negative omega squared x.
Seterusnya adalah equation of kinetic energy of simple harmonic motion. So kita akan tengok yang paling penting equation of kinetic energy in terms of displacement x. So saya percaya awak dah pernah jumpa general equation of kinetic energy k is equal to half mv squared. And remember in simple harmonic motion v in terms of x is equal to plus minus omega square root a squared minus x squared. And then we can substitute equation of v in terms of displacement x ke dalam equation k iaitu k is equal to half mv squared. Jadi bila kita dah substitute and then we simplify the equation and then finally we will get equation of kinetic energy of simple harmonic motion is equal to k equal to half m omega squared a squared minus x squared. Dan saya nak ingatkan yang paling penting dekat sini yang selalu awak terlepas pandang di mana m omega squared can be write as k. So equation of kinetic energy juga boleh ditulis sebagai k equal to half k a squared minus x squared. Di mana small k is equal to m omega squared. Dan ada yang tanya boleh ke kalau kita nak tulis equation kinetic energy in terms of time t. Boleh saja but remember that v in terms of t is equal to a omega cos omega t. So sekarang kita substitute equation v ke dalam equation kinetic energy half mv squared. And finally, we can write equation of kinetic energy in terms of time t as k is equal to half ma squared omega squared cos squared omega t. Jadi dekat sini saya ada highlightkan m omega squared. So kita boleh juga tulis equation of kinetic energy in terms of time as k equal to half k a squared cos squared omega t. Dan seterusnya adalah equation of potential energy of simple harmonic motion. So kita akan tengok dulu in terms of x where u is equal to half kx squared. So this is general equation of potential energy. And remember that k is equal to m omega squared. Okay, so kita boleh tulis k sebagai m omega squared and then kita gantikan dalam equation u tadi. So finally, kita akan dapat equation u is equal to half m omega squared x squared. Ataupun kita boleh juga tulis equation u in terms of time t. So remember, x is equal to a sin omega t dan kali ini kita boleh substitute equation x ke dalam equation u equal to half kx squared. Jadi bila kita dah substitute x ke dalam equation u, kita akan dapat satu equation of potential energy in terms of t seperti yang ditunjukkan. Akhir sekali adalah berkenaan dengan equation of total energy of simple harmonic motion. Okay, so kita ada equation kinetic energy in terms of x dan juga equation of potential energy in terms of x. Jadi bila kita nak tulis equation of total energy in simple harmonic motion, E is equal to U plus K. So bila kita tambahkan kedua-dua equation ini, kita cuba simplifikan, kita boleh nampak dekat sini, kita boleh cancel half Kx squared dengan minus half Kx squared. And finally, the equation of total energy in simple harmonic motion is equal to half K A squared. Dan jangan lupa K is equal to M omega squared. Jadi sampai di sini saja video revision kali ini dan kita akan sambung dalam bahagian yang keempat untuk short notes animation chapter 9 simple harmonic motion. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.